أعزائي المشاهدين أهلا وسهلا بكم في حلقة جديدة من برنامجكم الوطني رواد الأعمال كما عودناكم في كل حلقة أن نستضيف نخبة من رجال الأعمال المتميزة اخترنا لكم اليوم مستر فرقان أذر The Great Business Man مستر فرقان We would like to welcome you first with us here in the program and we would also like to know you more and to introduce you to our audience Assalamu alaikum uh, Glad to be here and thank you very much for coming to our office and giving me a chance to speak over here Welcome, Mr. Could you tell us more about yourself and more about the companies that you own? What, what type of business you are running now? Well, uh, my name is Furkan Atta. Like you said, I'm originally from Pakistan, but I've been blessed that I've spent most of my life in Dubai, UAE. I was four years old when I came here, 47 now, so pretty much all my life has been in Dubai. Uh, I am in the business of entrepreneurship. I'm actually an accountant by background, mm -hmm. a chartered accountant, and uh, I was lucky enough to be in good corporate uh, companies like KPMG, Majid Al Futaim, Al Futaim. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the past 15 years, I have my own little small business that I love managing and I'm creating a little space for people, you know, to uh, get a chance to grow with me as well. So, mashallah, a very good experience here in the UAE. Tell us more, Mr. about the services that you provide for the customers in the companies. Well, uh, my two companies are, one is called MacArthur & Company and the other is called Spread Retail. Mm -hmm. MacArthur is a shopping mall uh, development, leasing and management company. We help retail uh, real estate, you know, shopping malls and, mm -hmm. and retail projects, uh, how to do their construction, how to do their planning, how to do the leasing management of the brands and then the management of the mall itself. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been doing it for 15 years. Alhamdulillah, we worked for over about 200 projects uh, in about 34 countries, five oh. continents. So not only in Dubai? No, no, no. Mm -hmm. 34 countries mm -hmm. from Albania to South Korea. Okay. Uh, we right now our team is working in Greece. Mm -hmm. They're working in uh, Bucharest. They're working in all over Gulf, of course, all of course. six countries. Uh, so right now we have active projects in about 14 countries. Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah, of course, we hope all the best and hopefully also you'll go all over the world, city by yeah. city. Tell us more, of course, here in UAE, in Dubai. In yeah, so specific. in Dubai, my retail business, the other company, Spread, is Dubai based. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, basically, we uh, retail and operate brands, shops mm -hmm. and malls. Uh, we have about five brands, uh, about 25 shops. I have a very dear partner in that business in terms of operations. Mm -hmm. He handles all the operations, Jack. Uh, Jack Cohen is his name. Uh, and he's basically the, the man behind all of our operations of our shops. We have shops in Dubai Mall. We have shops in all the prominent malls in Dubai. Dubai Hills, Dubai Mall, Yas Mall, Galleria Mall. And we operate anti-aging cosmetic brands. Mm -hmm. uh, the brands and the information of the brands will be shared with you. It will be on the on the links as well. And uh, our basic uh, focus will be on giving customer service and happiness to, to women and men who are looking for, you know, issues related to the skin and anti-aging and longevity. Uh, and, and that's what the focus is. Okay. So in the UAE here, the competition is really high. The competitors are really aggressive in all business fields. Yeah. So you need to have something special. So the customers will always Come back. So what makes you special than others in the business? Firstly, the more competitive the business is, the more diversity you have to create, right? Yes. It's like, for example, if there are 70,000 movies or 7,000 movies, every actor will say why their movie was different. Mm -hmm. So diversity helps uh, competition. It creates intensity and diversity. And every then customer, sorry, every uh, salesman has to prove that their product is better. And that obviously can be by getting into a niche, right? So for example, let's say you're in cosmetics. Everybody gets into cosmetics, right? Mm -hmm. Are you in low end, mid level or high level cosmetics, okay? Mm -hmm. Are you dealing with the face? Are you dealing with the skin? Are you dealing with the scalp? Are you dealing with the feet? Are you dealing with just rejuvenation? Are you mm -hmm. dealing with oily skin? Are you dealing with anti-aging? So it's all about, you know, you get into more and more and more detail and specialization and diversity and price point differentiation and that's how you create a little space for yourself and then when you create that space for yourself you try and become king of that area okay mm -hmm. and that's where the focus is to try and become the best 
in your little area you can't compete with everybody yes you can course. only compete in your little you know area of course so since you are an investor here in the UAE since a long of time of course uh, tell us an advice or give us an advice for those who are willing to invest their money and their time also in the United Arab Emirates or also to be a business man in the future well if I talk about Dubai and UAE uh, I, I have been here from 1978 right so I have seen Sheikh Rashid and uh, you know Sheikh Zayed mm-hmm. from the beginning from the Bedouin tent times mm-hmm. and, and I was like four years old when I came over here I've seen Dubai and Abu Dhabi and UAE give everybody the chance to grow their business so I can only say that I was blessed to be at the right place at the right time and that's why I got all the opportunities that I did and once you're in a place like this Dubai also gives the chance for SMEs to grow yes. and multiply and by that I mean that if they're giving you a chance then take that chance it's a risky chance SME business uh, entrepreneurship is not for everybody you have sleepless nights you have uh, a lot of stress but then you need to be ready for that right a lot of the successful people in the world every business started with one man thinking of an idea and making sure that he gets it to the end it yes. might be a watch it might be a perfume it might be a car it might be whatever everybody has to start from somewhere with an idea and uh, Dubai is a great launching platform if you look at all of the initiatives being taken by Dubai right now and taken in the past 20 years whether it is the internet city the media city the knowledge village the tech city silicon oasis and so many different ideas and now uh, Sheikh Hamdan keeps announcing every second day you know some initiative the, or the other mm-hmm. regarding the bi- biotech yes and uh, it's all ki- improving it's ki- all, improving all over the that. fields I mean I get shocked my one of my favorite things in the morning is just to read Arabian business mm-hmm. and look at all of the initiatives taken by this government to be able to improve uh, you know the daily lives and the safety and security of all of citizens of course since we have mentioned the safety and security we will also mention how the people here and how the government helped us to to be in a safe environment how can safety and security in the UAE help you as a businessman to be on a stable market and how can it help also the investors that are coming from outside the country you know uh, I'll give you a very practical example of that we work in 34 countries uh-huh. and in those 34 countries when we work in these malls and these major development projects one thing which we from Dubai or UAE take for granted is safety and security we work in malls in India Pakistan Iraq Iran uh-huh. uh, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan and all of that and they want to talk about security and we say security, safety, what is that? Mm -hmm. We've never worried about that. It's because we have taken these things for granted. Okay, the fact that over here it is so easy to keep your life and your uh, children's life in the hands of the government and you know you can have your children out at 12 o'clock at night and you know there's a safe, the the quality of the public transportation available over here the quality of the of the stringency of the police and the fact that over here police is not really something to be feared yes. but something to be trusted is no joke so safety and security gives you the launching platform to feel the stability that you can build your business on right now if you look at uh, dubai they say that over 200 countries of the world people make dubai or uae their home why do they do that only because of safety and security and the political issues not being made the center that these people feel safe enough to come and bring their investment already built or their idea to be able to turn into an investment in a place like this yes of course all this happened because of the great vision of the rulers of the UAE of course. we would also like to give them a big thanks from our team and also from your uh, business no doubt I mean uh, people look at these pictures of Dubai then and Dubai now mm-hmm. right I was there I was there the first day that al was on his I think it was a land cruiser mm-hmm. where Dubai golf course is right now mm-hmm. where he would put plans of the of the way Dubai Imar would build the Emirates Hills Meadow yes. Springs Lakes and all of the plans used to be like this is where this will be and this will that will be 20 years ago so okay. the vision the great vision, yes, the, great the vision planning. of all uh, Sheikh Rashid and the ports and uh, the fact that they wanted make, to uh, let all of the Europeans and Western people make Dubai their home, not just a place to visit, is what has made this place what it is today. Of course.
Tell us your goal, Mr. Farhan. What's your coming plans? Uh, goal is that if I've been able to get a secure business for myself, uh, my aim is always to give my employees a chance to be able to grow into many entrepreneurs as well. Okay, uh, because you're one person. My company is called MacArthur and Company because the company is not the name of a company. The, uh, the company means the people. Mm -hmm. So I provide the opportunity to my team members to become partners, to become mini entrepreneurs, to provide stability to their families, to contribute to the economy of UAE, and to make this place an even better than one that they found it. Hopefully we'll reach there and hopefully we see you in all over the, the world, city by city, running all the malls, all what you achieved or what, what you, <laughs> you are aiming to achieve, you will inshallah reach there. Of course, we would like also to thank you for being with us today. It was really an honor meeting such a nice guy. We would like also to know how can we reach and contact. Well, our website, uh, MacArthur and Company, with the information will be available on the video. Spread, Retail and MacArthur. Our website has all of the information required. And uh, uh, that should be more than enough. My name and my information is there as well. I deal with all the people as much as possible directly. Of course, thank you again. All the contacting numbers, the website and the social media links will be, so, uh, will be shown down the screen. Thank you again, Mr. Furqan. إلى هنا أعزائي المشاهدين ننهي حلقتنا الأسبوعية مع ضيفنا المميز Mr. Furqan Abad. تابعونا إشتراكي أنسى تربيلي أنه كان الأجيسي أريد. أنتم بخير وفي أمان الله.